Welcome back to the fourth segment of uh, Bernama Today. Yes, the name and all that came in during the uh, kickers there. But uh, nevertheless, Mr. Daya, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Buddhism, whether it's a religion or it's just a teaching. <laughs> we'll, well, let's clarify this right now, Mr. Daya. Maybe you want to enlighten us a little bit. It's interesting that you should use the word enlightened because uh, <laughs> Buddhism is connected with the term enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me say first of all that mm -hmm. there are several things that are mm -hmm. different about Buddhism mm -hmm. in, in when you talk of religion per mm -hmm. se. Mm -hmm. For a start, mm -hmm. Buddhism is not a religion in mm -hmm. the conventional definition of mm -hmm. the word religion mm -hmm. because that involves the recognition or belief mm -hmm. in a creator God mm -hmm. which we don't have. Okay. Number two, the Buddha mm -hmm was an ordinary human being like you or me who has gone through life mm -hmm. and got to a particular stage mm -hmm. in his advancement mm -hmm. and uh, he does not claim any divinity or neither does he claim to be the messenger of any god All right what he has achieved he actually proves is attainable by any and every human being All who right. bends himself to the task right and third thing is buddhism uh, does not convert people to mm -hmm. Buddhism as, mm -hmm. a, as a religion does mm -hmm. normally. Mm -hmm. This is because uh, one has to discover Buddhism for, for himself or herself. Mm -hmm. Like in my own case, I'm a mm -hmm. Sinhalese Buddhist, born mm -hmm. into a conservative Buddhist family. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I grew up in Penang and I was a rebel very much uh, to the system. Mm -hmm. And Buddhism uh, used to frighten me as a child. Mm -hmm because of these gargoyles and all that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, eventually, I discovered Buddhism for myself. Mm -hmm. and when I did, I, I, I find it's the answer to all the questions that all human beings have. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. who are we? Where do we come from? Mm -hmm. why, why are we here? Uh, where are we going to go? Mm -hmm. What happens after this? These mm -hmm. are the essential questions that uh, invites people to turn to religion or a spiritual self. All right. And Buddhism, in my opinion, offers the best answers mm. that anybody could want to obtain to these questions. So it's more of a teaching of a way of life instead of uh, preaching to, 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 to someone of a higher authority. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Buddhism actually is not uh, ceremonies and rituals. It mm. is a way of life to be lived. Okay. Uh, for example, two mm. things I would like to suggest Mm. about Buddhism. One, mm. the Buddha advocated that change is the only permanent constant in life. Okay. Uh, there is no heaven, there is no hell per se. Mm -hmm. And everybody has got to go through change and we all live for the moment. Uh, we live each minute as it mm -hmm. goes. Mm -hmm. The past is finished, it's over. Right. There's nothing you can do about it. Right. And the future is just hope and expectations. Mm -hmm. In Buddhism, we say, live the moment. Mm -hmm. This is where one of the principal teachings of Buddhism, mm -hmm. which is called mindfulness, mm -hmm. can be appreciated. You, has got, you have got to be conscious, aware mm -hmm. of all that you are doing at every moment of your life. Okay. For example, to give you a simple case, mm -hmm. when you are eating, how many of us pay attention to our eating practice? One has got to concentrate on chewing, be mindful of the food you're eating, the good it does for you and so on. Most people don't even, are not even conscious of the physical act of eating. So in Buddhism, okay. everything we undertake to do involves mindfulness. Okay. If I was asked to summarize Buddhism, mm -hmm. I would best say that it mm -hmm. would be, first of all, mm -hmm. avoid all evil. Okay. Anything that's evil, don't do, do it. Mm -hmm. Number two, do only that which is good. Okay. So your life's efforts are concentrated on two things, avoiding right. evil, doing what is good. Right. And the third thing, the most important actually is something unique to Buddhism, develop the mind. Mm -hmm. And this is where a facet of Buddhism, which is now becoming discovered by the Western world particularly, mm -hmm. comes to the fore, meditation. Right. Where one brings one's mind to concentration. Mm -hmm. There are two basic aspects of it. 
One is mindful concentration or, mm. or, or, or meditation of on one's breath. Mm. That's one of the fundamental ways of learning meditation. Right. Um, also, not only that, I uh, would like to ask a question about, um, you know, you have a different so-called gods or, or, or creature like, uh, like Kuang Yin, and you have uh, these different, different other gods, right? Uh, maybe you want to uh, dive into that a little bit so that we could understand more from what you have just said. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is the very beginning of the big uh, misconception. Mm -hmm. As I said at the very outset, mm -hmm. there are no gods mm -hmm. uh, as creators, all powerful beings mm -hmm. who are benevolent, to whom you can appeal for help and all that. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing in Buddhism. Mm -hmm. What happens actually is that we um, we do we 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 are what we are. Mm -hmm. We become what we can become. Mm -hmm. Whether we become good, bad, successful, or a failure mm -hmm. depends on oneself. Mm -hmm. Now, gods are something that people appeal to generally. Mm -hmm. They want help. For example, mm -hmm. uh, most people want a male child, so they pray for a male child. Mm -hmm. Most people who are not who do not get into the family we pray uh, very hard to become parents. Mm -hmm. uh, people pray for success. Mm -hmm. This is not something that uh, a god can give, according to the Buddha. Mm -hmm. All this we qualify for, we earn for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens until it begins as a thought. Okay. Human beings think. And whatever we think, we can make it happen, make it real. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, if you think from a, of, a, of, of a building or a mm -hmm. vehicle or anything of that sort, mm -hmm. uh, you will find that it all started as an idea. Okay. So in Buddhism, we say there is no God creator who will say, I will give you this, I'll give you that, or that. you can appeal to me, mm -hmm. you commit a sin, I forgive you, and so on. In Buddhism, there is no forgiveness. Okay. All right? Uh, 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 then there's the question of meditation. Yes. Uh, when you, how, okay, maybe you can run us through meditation. Um, meditate, like, see, a lot of people go, a lot of uh, the people that I know actually go to India, then they say that they want to live up the hills and all that and to meditate. But I don't understand, see, from a different point of view because mm. I, I don't know what, what's done up there. Okay. Uh, meditation, uh, I will confess, mm -hmm. is something I have not really mm -hmm. uh, accomplished to any significant degree personally. Mm -hmm. But essentially, mm -hmm. meditation means concentrating the mind. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you see, the, the human mind is like, mm -hmm. a, like the, the Chinese say, it's mm -hmm. like a jumping monkey. Mm -hmm. if, if you think back, you, you don't have, you can't even concentrate on, 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 on a subject for mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. you, you think of something and the next moment you think of something else and another and another and so on. This mm -hmm. is diversification. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do in mindfulness, in meditation, is to concentrate your thoughts on something. Mm -hmm. And this is done uh, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And what you concentrate on is something that... Uh, uh, requires practice. In fact, it takes years and years of practice. Mm -hmm. And Buddhist meditation is what we call, people renounce worldly life. Mm -hmm. They go into a celibate uh, monkhood mm -hmm. or nun or, uh, become nuns mm -hmm. and they do what is called forest meditation mm -hmm. where such a monk would go away into the forest, away from society, away from urban life, away from family and uh, friends and relatives, mm -hmm. and concentrate about the mind. This is essentially what meditation is. And one of the first ways to begin with is to use uh, meditation on one's breath, which is a definite thing that everybody has, mm -hmm. which can be concentrated on quite easily. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, one sits oneself down in a mm -hmm. quiet, undisturbed place mm -hmm. and concentrates on one's breath, taking in the breath mm -hmm. and letting it out. And you will find that when you first start this, you cannot do this even for five different breaths. You will find that your mind will run somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So what you do every time your mind runs is to bring your mind back to the breath you were thinking, you, you, you were thinking experiencing. Mm. 
Okay. You know? uh, <laughs> it sounds very simple, uh, yeah. but it's worth trying because then you realize the enormity mm. of the task of meditation. Mm. But practice, they say, makes perfect. Right. So. Uh, it's about about concentration, I think. End of the yes, day, yeah, it it's is. about it's about focusing on what you want to do and about uh, keeping in line of what you want to do. Which um, over the weekend, I had a very good chat with somebody that told me that um, whatever you do in life and whatever you concentrate on, uh, it has to be spot on. It has to be light on so that you can actually succeed in life. Which I think that's also one of the fundamentals of uh, the teaching. Yes, it right? is. It is. Um, well, uh, it was a. Great Great pleasure talking to you. In fact, uh, if we have more time, we can, could we could dive in into like uh, the the idols. Uh, we could dive in into the culture and then different and and just for your information, uh, the, the, at different re regions of the world, of course, there are different Chinese culture. There are different uh, 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 Buddhism is taught in many different ways, and it evolves with a certain culture, a certain race, and a certain. Uh, a set of people I, I believe that because it, all of us are different in our own ways and I'm sure you have your take on 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 on, uh, on this side other people may have their take on another people uh, another person's side and uh, but you know what thank you very much for coming here to Pleasure share with us uh, your take on 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 Buddhism because um, not many people a lot of people question like why am I what am, what am I looking for? What am I praying for? But essentially, it's about yourself. Uh, um, um, like you said, you know, not asking for something, but uh, to actually get it done. Uh, can I can I yeah. ask you to see whether I can put in the last word yeah, on this sure. one? You see, human beings mm -hmm. always make choices. Mm -hmm. For example. Mm -hmm. If you want to get married, mm -hmm. you look around and then you pick on a particular lady. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy a car, you don't buy the first car you come across. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a meal, mm -hmm. you don't just walk into the first restaurant in town. You decide on what you want. Correct. Now, it is strange mm -hmm. that we human beings, with all our intelligence, our experience, our culture and our inclinations, mm -hmm. choose everything that we choose to do. Right. But when it comes to religion, most mm -hmm. of us mm -hmm. carry on into what we are born. It is my contention mm -hmm. that one has to be fair mm -hmm. to look at religion and then choose what you want to do for yourself. Right. Uh, choice in life. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> That's the takeaway message that Mr. Dyer wants to send. Thank you very much, Mr. Dyer, for Pleasure's coming again. again. And uh, we got more great, interesting stories. Of course, if you want to have a review of this, you can do so in a week's time on our website or so-called our Facebook page, Bernama, uh, sorry, facebook.com forward slash Bernama today. We've got the Malay News up next. Stay tuned to Bernama TV for more updates.